A long-awaited goal from Pedro Porro saved the day in Game Week 32, with a score of 65 points just enough for a small green arrow up to 137,000. It took the Spurs right back 42 shots to find his first Premier League goal of the season. That's 11 more than any other defender has attempted. Only Conza completed more final third passes than the Spaniard in Game Week 32, while only Robertson played more passes into the opposition box. There was a full house of returns across the midfield, with the decision to stick with Bakayo Saka paying off after his converted penalty opened the scoring against Brighton. His tally of three shots in the box trailed only Salah and Luis Diaz among midfielders during the game week. Erling Haaland was back on the score sheet after consecutive blanks. Both of the Norwegians' shots against Crystal Palace were deemed big chances, with only Chris Wood recording more guilt edge chances among forwards in game week 32. So let's move on to the transfer plans for game week 33. Two free transfers are available, and both need to be used ahead of playing the free hit chip in game week 34. Firstly then, Saka to Foden is still on my mind after coming close to making that transfer last week. Both players have crucial Champions League ties and the potential for reduced minutes is there this weekend, but Foden was handed a full rest in game week 32 and made 19 consecutive starts in the Premier League before that. While Saka has been carrying an ongoing hamstring issue and has completed 90 minutes just once in Arsenal's last nine league matches. Moving on, the injured Jamal Lascelles makes sense with the second transfer in anticipation of a game week 37 bench boost. I've been priced out of Fabian Scher, who would have been my first choice replacement, but I'm happy to settle for the lower price Dan Byrne, who poses a similar level of attacking threat and looks assured of starts after moving to centre back to cover for injuries to Botman and Lascelles. I'll be waiting until after the Champions League matches before confirming my moves, but Saka and Lascelles to Foden and Byrne is the plan with two free transfers, and here's how the team is set to line up. Fit again Edison looks set for a recall after returning to the bench for the win over Crystal Palace. Only Brighton have fashioned fewer big chances than Luton in the last six matches. Man United fullback Diogo De Lo has supplied two assists in his last eight matches, where only Gusto and Robertson can improve on his three big chances created among defenders. Only Sheffield United, Everton and Burnley have scored fewer goals than Bournemouth in home matches this season. Arsenal have kept a remarkable six clean sheets in their last eight matches, and Gabriel has attempted a joint leading total of 11 shots among defenders in that time, only matched by Maguire. Handed a rest against Sheffield United, Malo Gusto has created five big chances in seven appearances since game week 23. Only Robertson has carved out more in that time with six. Everton have scored a league low three goals in their last five away matches. Alejandro Garnacho gets the nod over Rodrigo Muniz after a marginal offside goal against Liverpool. The Argentine has amassed seven goal involvements in nine outings since game week 23. Only Luis Diaz has attempted more shots in the box across that spell among midfielders. Man United have fashioned 18 big chances in their last six away matches, with only Arsenal and Man City faring better. With three goals and three assists in the last six game weeks, Son Heung Min trails only Cole Palmer for points among midfielders. The South Korean has claimed four big chances in that time, only beaten by Salah with five and Brennan Johnson with six. Newcastle have shipped 13 goals in their last six home matches, with only Aston Villa and Sheffield United allowing more. An assist against Sheffield United means Cole Palmer has returned in five successive matches since game week 27. The Chelsea talisman has produced league leading tallies of 29 shots and 20 attempted assists in that time. Everton kept their first clean sheet in nine matches against Burnley last game week. It's hard to gauge Erling Haaland's potential minutes against Luton, which is sandwiched in between Champions League ties with Real Madrid. Rodrigo Muniz remains on standby should he miss out, but the Norwegian has notched four goals in his last five league outings at the Etihad. Alexander Isak has found the net in each of his last five home matches, averaging 8.8 .8 points per game. His tally of six big chances in the last six game weeks ranks joint first with Haaland among forwards. Spurs have kept just one clean sheet in their last six away matches, conceding an average of two goals per game. With uncertainty over Haaland and Foden's minutes, captaincy could fall to either Mohamed Salah or Cole Palmer. The Egyptian king has averaged 7.8 points across his last four home starts, 
accruing four goals and one assist. Crystal Palace have conceded 15 goals and 22 big chances in their last six away matches, with only Luton faring worse on each account.